Hey everyone, Zesh here and welcome to Horizon Call of the Mountain Overview. Let's start the new era on the channel, shall we? For some reason this moment reminds me of the time when I got my first custom PC that is like under me to record and actually just fully go in with more complex content to do. And with that, I wanted to discover a new library with the PC VR. My first ever like high quality game out there was Asgarath. And just looking at the trailer clips, the mechanics and just all the package, it seems that kind of a game on a scale of PC VR too. The better question now is when this video will actually release, because I have no idea because the story with the courier, with the packages and just all of chaos that's going on nowadays, this might be delayed like, I don't know, till next week. But if you're watching it then, well, it's time to start. <laughs> so Horizon Call of the Mountain is an action adventure game where from a different perspective based on the mainstream series we are embarking on a journey through Karja and Nora homelands to discover what's been going on in the mountains and meet up with the old familiar faces and new fresh encounters. My background with the whole saga is well non-existent. This is gonna be my first time ever dipping into the series and I have zero clue about the storyline nor the world itself because when I start doing VR, Horizon was I believe just starting out to be very popular and successful so I'm pretty excited to discover what's going on since it seems like it's very much in my taste and it's also gonna be a good research material on how PlayStation views this technology as a whole and what's their goal moving forward because of course it's gonna be a very different mentality from meta, more gaming focused that is very much closer to me. I can't really critique anything that you see in the trailer or say what to expect because I don't know what's gonna happen. Everything is just impressive on paper if you're talking about the graphics, the action, the immersion, the mechanics, like the list goes on and up until I won't jump into it, there's no way to judge it, like it's still an unknown territory to me. I've been preparing for the past few days with the software and playing with the PS5 altogether because it's gonna be a slightly different dynamic that we've done so far, but at the end of the day I'm very positive going into it and let's just start the damn thing. There'll be machines ahead. What are you doing? Kivad. If the boat goes over, it'll drown in these chains. So he drowns. Can you take this off my head? Do I have a paper Kavad. bag? There. Wow. You can't walk in the light, you can't see in the light, right? We should have staked him out and left him for the Glint Hawks. Damn shadow Karja. Wow, wow. Several years in the military and she still believes in justice. Will you sit your patronizing ass down and paddle? If he runs? Where to? The only place he can go is Don's grasp, and that's where that's where we're taking him. Don's grasp? Who are you two? Was this a prisoner exchange? Keep your voice down. There are machines out here. <laughs> Blameless Murad is giving you a chance. We all make it back to Don's grasp alive. You can talk to him about a pardon. So, either take your chances with us or. Stormbird! Stay still, you idiot. You haven't come this far oh, by lightning. <sighs> Alright, I think we're clear. So Sun King of Oz is willing to pardon me, a notorious enemy soldier. Why does he want to return? Harry, I asked you a question. Salt Valley's been filling with machines. The sun brought us Edom and Shadow to find out why. Me? You and Marad have lost your minds. Hey, you can't blame Marad. <sighs> the intro later and just starstruck. If those machines 
machines keep coming, there's not gonna be anything left of Dawn's grasp when we get there. Weymouth Barad would have sent for reinforcements. If uh, there were reinforcements coming, we wouldn't have been sent to drag this guys? sting out of prison. How they can offer him a pardon? is a good shot. Yeah, and I'll put arrows through both of us. You're switching with me. What? Just get up front and paddle. <sighs> if there are watchers, there's going to be something more to this too. And you better hope we can deal with it. seen a machine before Kavad. Just keep us to the left, away from them. They go there. Give me something. <laughs> I'm the actor here. Are those watchers still following us? <sighs> Let's get to the keyside before we find out. Sun shines upon the worthy. <sighs> Sun shines upon the worthy. <sighs> the sun shines upon. <sighs> <laughs> what was that? Well, it's a snap mob. Get to the dock. There's more of them. Give me my bow. We're, we're not going to make it. We have to. I'm not dying for a shadow carja. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Shit, the cable is everywhere. <laughs> I don't know if I'm actually swimming faster. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I'll get to you. Just hold on. Um. First of all, <laughs> the intro. After, I don't know, three, four days, I got the headset. I actually got very lucky because I met the guy that was delivering the parcels when I was coming back from work. I did the general setup, but it's kind of wonky still. Like the cables are everywhere because I'm using the old ass link setup that I did like a few years ago. So I'll just finesse a few things in the next days, but I mean, hell, <laughs> I'm ready to do this. Well, that was fast. <laughs> I don't know if the footage will show this, but it is the best graphics that I've seen so far. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I hope we'll get some kind of introduction of the storyline, like I mentioned I know almost nothing about this universe. If I remember my maps right, I'm on Bright Dawn. 
And Dawn's grasp is on the other side of it. Do I go there or make a break for it? No, I'm not a criminal. I'll go to Dawn's grasp, see what Marana wants. So far I see machines and humanity. <laughs> this is like the climb. Hey! Shadow Karja! You can run, but I will find you! I'm not trying to run! I'm... Hey! So, the other soldier from the boat is alive. And she thinks I'm trying to escape. Who knows? <laughs> ah, finally. A bow. Looks like someone's target practice got interrupted. Finally, some good luck. My hand is... Not sure why too high. This is definitely not my position. Maybe I just need to get used to the new controllers. Sorry. I'm not gonna forgive the shadow of Edaman just like that. There must be a catch. I didn't know that's gonna work. <laughs> that hit. Well, we are ready. This is kind of weird playing on the different platform than <laughs> Meta. A guard post. I should get used to it though. Yeah, I've still got it. Others oh, a go. Eh, whatever. What do you mean? I want to move faster and stuff, but. Everything is uh, disabled. If I don't reach Dawn's grasp before that soldier, Blameless Marat will send every unit in the sun after me. Okay, I see what's going on. It's kind of like your left hand positions the <coughs> wrist direction. Sometimes both hands will do that in VR, but this is like separated. So it's kind of a new mechanic, but I think I'll get used to it relatively fast. How do I get to Don's grasp from here? I should be able to climb up the side of that tower. Let's move. I put some kind of time limit because I don't know if PlayStation will experience like crashes. It is beautiful up here. I've been away from the mountains for too long. <laughs> Oh, 
one's home. Okay. This looks like a refugee camp. What were they running from? Nice. Watcher. Good thing I found a bow. Oh yes. We're in our element. I'll get you. Here. <laughs> What? Why my movement is limited? Finish it. Break me off. Um God's grasp should be close. Probably one last climb. Not sure why it's like locked. We're going in a circles around an enemy in an arena style situation. It is very dynamic, at least from the <laughs> couple seconds I've seen. I will see, I don't know. It's just different so far. What is this? Looks like there's a trail up that cliff. There's a lot of controls on those controllers. So I need to also adjust to that. Ah, I see. I'm gonna need that. Can I store it? Oh wow. What's going on there? Don's grasp. It's on fire. I better get over there. See if anyone's still alive. No escape. Ow. <sighs> Got you. Damn shadow card, yeah. Alright, I'll finish here because it is time and this was kind of a tutorial-ish path to the main thing. So far there are things that I like and I don't necessarily understand. Maybe it's just because I'm coming from the meta ecosystem. Graphics, haptics, immersion and just the vibe. Absolutely love it. We'll have to see how it's gonna go with the combat because it seemed very limiting. Dynamic, but in a way that feels relatively limiting because I'm not sure why I would not be able to freely move around and then to just play around. I suppose it's due to the scripted movements of the enemies and just the whole arena. But those were like couple second impressions I got so far. So we'll just see. For now, it is quite impressive. 
It's not like mind-blowing, but I guess it's just because I'm so experienced in VR that pretty graphics don't completely fool me. Like, I'm looking forward to the mechanics, features and just the decisions that the devs made here. When we'll continue, um, I don't know, I got this headset last minute. I still need to polish out few stuff. For now, I just need to relax, think about few stuff and then come back with a full force.